Hey everyone, Ben Reno here. Well, it's finally happened. After two months after I got the BlackBerry Z10, I am getting rid of it. I'm saying goodbye. And to be honest, saying goodbye is bittersweet, but mostly sweet. To start this story, let's talk a little bit about BlackBerry. So, around the beginning of 2013, BlackBerry was still somewhat relevant, and they had a competitive chance to break back into the smartphone market in at least somewhat competitive sense. But time proved unkind to BlackBerry, and the initial rollout of BlackBerry 10 flopped pretty badly, and the operating system hasn't been doing well. The reason is, I don't think the market was really looking for the innovation that BlackBerry was offering. Most people are pretty happy happy with the software on their phones. So, you know, being that the software was the main differentiator on the Z10, it didn't really have much of a chance. And with that, let's talk about the software in the BlackBerry Z10. There are a few compelling features of BlackBerry 10 that really stand out to me. The operating system is extremely efficient, and I know pretty much getting anything done on here is just going to be really quick. And there's also some good ideas like having the multitasking be the home screen, because when you're actually on your phone, you're doing different things and you're switching between the same applications a lot. And instead of having to constantly double tap the home button or hit a multitasking button, it's really convenient to just have that be your home screen. And then also with seeing how big phones are getting, having the hub, or we'll just call it the notification center, one screen off to the left is just genius because, you know, if you have a really big phone, reaching up to the top of the screen to pull down is getting harder and harder. And now they just, they just released a 5.5 inch iPhone, that's not going to get any easier. So there's some really compelling features with BlackBerry 10, but they're not enough to make somebody go out and start using BlackBerry 10. But beyond those software features, the hardware on the Z10 is just okay. I mean, that's a problem when you're trying to win over customers. Um, next, I want to talk about my personal experience with the phone. The phone, it felt good to use. It's a good size has a good camera, um, the software is incredibly stable, um, but going from that, the software is incredibly stable if you're living in the BlackBerry world where, you know, there's 15 developers and there's just a few apps out for it, but as soon as you start to emulate Android apps, which you will because the BlackBerry store is so barren, you're just, uh, you're going to run into a ton of problems because... There's a lot of problems with running Android apps. Um, they're not designed for the platform, so they're being emulated. Um, what happens first is they don't work with Google Play services. So I've even got actual Google Play on here where I can go and download any app that's in the Google Play Store. But since this phone doesn't have Google Play services, tons of apps won't work. Next, they're definitely emulated because they run really slow and glitchy. In some apps, you won't notice it as much, and other apps that demand more, you're definitely going to notice it. And thirdly, they eat battery. If you're running two or three Android apps and you go ahead and lock the phone and put it into your pocket, you can expect close to 1% drain every two or three minutes. It's it's ridiculous. You can, you can kill your phone from 100% in four hours if you've got a few Android apps running because... The phone has to work really hard to get them to go, and it uh, it does take a toll on the battery. And let's see here. Uh, besides that, most of the apps run, but uh, the phone it just feels lonely using it. If there's an app that everyone's talking about or some new feature that's coming to their devices, you can pretty much guarantee you're not going to get it, and you're going to be left out in the cold. You know voice assistance, uh, what do you call it, uh, just basically like health kit and all these other software features and all these things which are coming out, you just, you're not going to get them. And if you do, they're going to be years down the line. And, you know, do you really want to wait that long? For most people, the answer is no. And 
you really start to realize how much you're part of a community once you're not part of it anymore. And once your friends start talking about apps and things which you, you'd like to download and you'd like to experience, it, it, uh, it doesn't feel good. And that's probably one of the worst things about using a BlackBerry device. Um, that's, that's really all I have to say about it. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there before I said sayonara to the little guy. And I had high hopes for this BlackBerry. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to meet them. Bye-bye, BlackBerry Z10. Once again, this is Ben Runno. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.